Young people who are interested in getting their hands dirty can do that. A garden in full bloom in the heart of Hamilton Heights. Fresh herbs and leafy vegetables, all grown by local teenagers. Anytime you are engaging young folks in positive activities, you're keeping them away from other aspects of uh, negative activities that exist in our world. The Brotherhood Sister Soul just received $20,000 from the Manhattan DA's office to continue planting seeds here. The funding is part of the DA's work to prevent youth gun violence by giving teens meaningful opportunities right in their own neighborhoods. We know uh, that the crime uh, spikes during the hot summer months. Um, we know the importance of um, keeping our youth engaged. Jason Warwin says at the start of the summer, most teens were a little skeptical about rolling up their sleeves, planting and harvesting. That all began to change once the teens were able to see and taste what they've been growing. It's magical. 50 students are working in the garden this summer, all paid internships. In addition to learning how to grow fresh fruits and vegetables, they're also learning small business skills, selling their produce every week at a local farmer's market. And then we have one other group that's out community organizing and trying to create more green spaces within our neighborhood. The Brotherhood Sister Soul is one of 10 organizations to receive a $20,000 grant from the DA's office. East Harlem's Exodus Transitional Community will use their funding for group therapy sessions for young New Yorkers. And Henry Street Settlement will train community champions to lead an anti-violence campaign. For DA Alvin Bragg, the funding is an investment in a safer borough. The best case for us is the case that we don't have to bring. Uh, and so while certainly we are focused on enforcement and in particular on the small percentage of people doing gun violence in our communities, we also want to be on the prevention side of the equation.